Good morning, Year Six. I hope you're ready for the new half term and you've had a nice break. Uh, hopefully you've had lots of lions and lots of chance to play on those computers and, and relax a little bit and recharge your batteries. On to our first week of learning. We are going to be completing uh, our five a day as we normally do. Um, I think we should be pretty good with these. There are a couple that I just did want to point out. Uh, this one in the bottom corner, our perimeter. Remember, that's our distance around the shape. We did have a little go at that um, before half term. This one up here, 10% of 40. We did talk about putting it into a fraction first. Um, but if you want to have a little go at trying to do it a different way, to find 10%, you divide your amount by 10. Nice and easy to remember. So to find the answer for that, it would be 40 divided by 10. Okay. Um, those are okay. This one down here in the bottom left hand corner, shade three quarters of this shape. Now that would be easy if there were four parts to this shape, as our denominator says, but actually there's 12. So we need to work out how we can manipulate, how we can change uh, this fraction to make our denominator have 12 at the bottom. Okay, and that's the only clue I'm going to give you with that one. Um, we should be okay with these. Uh, we are going to be looking at place value in a minute uh, because that's going to be one of our main topics in um, maths this half term. But this one, just a bit of a tip, just make sure when you um, do any calculations, you line up your decimal point. Okay, so if you're going to do any column addition or column subtraction with uh, decimals, then uh, make sure you line up that decimal point. Okay. Right then, on to our um, new booklet that you all received um, just before the holidays. It's a decimals and percentages booklet. I've got a nice copy here. Okay, it looks exactly like your other one um, and it'll be the same as we use that one. We'll be doing a couple of pages each day. Please don't go ahead um, because we we'll want to do uh, all the same together so we can go over the answers as well. Um, down below, you can see what I'd like to do for each day. The first three days um, is largely about place value. We did go over that at the start of term um, in about September. I know it's a while ago, but hopefully that knowledge should help you with that. Uh, for Thursday and Friday, um, we're going to be multiplying and dividing, okay, fractions and um, decimals. So I did just want to uh, do one example which is up on the board now, we're going to be using a place value grid. So for example, if we had 356 times 100, uh, we would want to be moving our numbers. And I've underlined over here uh, how many places we will be moving them. So we've got two zeros. Uh, we're multiplying. So our number's going to be getting bigger. So we're going to be going this way because our bigger numbers are at this end of our place value grid and our smaller numbers are at this end of the place value grid. So our three is going to move two places because we've got one, two, zero. So it's going to go one, two and end up over here. And then you can do the same for the others, but if you've got the three in the right place, then your other digits obviously just follow on. Okay. And remember, we would have had zeros all in the other columns, although there's nothing in there, these would have all been zero. So you need to make sure that you follow those on as well. So after the six was a zero, so it would be in the tens column. And after that zero was another zero. So that would be in the ones column. And then obviously our decimal place, and then there'd be zeros all after that as well. Okay. So we'd end up with our number um, being a three, five, six, zero, zero. Okay, so 35,600. Um, if we are dividing, then we're going the opposite way. So our 356 would be getting smaller. And this time we're dividing by 10. So it would only be going one place. So our three jumps one place to the right. And then we put our remaining digits in. OK, remember that decimal place is in there. OK, so our answer 356 divided by 10 is 
Okay, if your parents are watching, we all did it where we moved the decimal place, and that's how I learned how to do it. Um, but now we are moving the number around the decimal place. Okay, right. Um, I did just want to put a blank one up for you if you wanted to use that. Um, you can pause it on the screen now, um, and then you can use that to work out any answers that you need to. Right, for our English, we've got our two new books. So we've got an English comprehension, which is all about uh, reading and answering the questions. And then we've got a writing book. So the first three days, you're going to be using the writing book, which is this one uh, down here at the bottom. Um, this one down here. Um, and it's going to be revolving around planning and editing and proofreading your work for the first couple of days. Um, please make sure you try the extra challenges because the tasks inside the booklet are there to help you learn how to do something. And then the extra challenges are how you use that knowledge that you've just picked up. Um, so it is good to challenge yourself and try the extra challenges, please. That just makes you really understand what you've just learned. And then for the Thursday and Friday, we've got two comprehension exercises, two different texts. Uh, particular interest in this one at the bottom, because I've been promising to read this to you for a long time. Um, the book called Holes by Louis Sacker. Uh, it's a really nice book and we're definitely going to be uh, having a look at that when we get back. So it's nice to like dip your toe in and have a little look at the first uh, page of the book. And there's a couple of questions um, linked to that text for you to answer. OK, um, I've actually got the book here. So we'll have a little look at that uh, a little bit closer when we get back together. That's our book. OK, for our ancient Greece topic, we're carrying on with our topic grid. This week, I want you to write a diary entry from the viewpoint of an ancient Greek. So you need to choose a role that you perhaps want to be. So a soldier, a mother, a farmer, a craftsman, just a child, a fisherman. It's up to you um, what you want to do. You might want to research the different roles that were around during those times. Then think about what sort of activities those people would be doing uh, day to day, what might they experience on one day, and you need to write about it. And remember to reflect on your kind of thoughts and your feelings that that person would be having um, to make your diary entry really come to life. Remember to write it in the first person and it would be quite informal. Um, if any of you write a diary, then you'll know the sorts of things that you would include in there. OK, but I really want to know how you're feeling about things. How is your life? Uh, what have you done today? OK, and try and make it really interesting. You might want to do a little um, sketch at the bottom as well. Some people do that in their uh, diaries of anything that's happened in the day that you're particularly uh, pleased about or not so pleased about. Right, this word, perseverance, OK, obviously means never giving in and continuing to try, try, try. Um, but it's also very important this week because there has been a new Mars rover that's landed um, in Mars by um, NASA. And I've got a few pictures for you to have a little look at. Um, the picture in the top left is the very first picture that it sent back to Earth. Um, it's not a very high quality one because they just wanted to get one back really quickly. Um, and then the bottom right is when it was being lowered down onto Mars. So it was just about to touch down there. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner, that's not a proper photograph. That's a, a that's a computer generated photograph. But um, that's what it happened. That's how they lowered it down the very last little bit. OK, so if you get any extra time this week, I'd like you to just have a little look at NASA.gov NASA website. So that's NASA's website and have a little look at how the mission is going. There's some really interesting stuff also on NASA TV, which is on YouTube. Just go onto YouTube and type in NASA TV and you can find out some really interesting information. If anyone anyone finds anything that interesting, then we can have a little look at that on Friday. Uh, beat the teacher this week. Uh, we're going to do a step up challenge. So you're going to need a bit of clear space and some sort of step. You could do it on a garden wall. You could do it on the very bottom step of the stairs. 
Um, anything you can get your hands on which is nice and flat and stable and the idea is to uh, step up and step down with both feet as many times as you can do in 30 seconds. Now in the last couple of weeks doing this I have really really uh, well no other way of saying it, but lost the challenges so I'm going to use this week to practice as well just as you are going to be doing uh, and I'll let you know on Friday how I got on and we'll see how you got on as well okay so use the week to practice on Thursday time yourself over 30 seconds and then on Friday we'll share how we all got on okay Right, don't forget to keep busy. As usual, you've got the normal website to uh, have a little go at. Get out in the garden. It's going to be a nice, um, mild week, so that's nice. Uh, make sure you're still helping at home, really important. And then our next session is going to be at nine o'clock on Friday the 26th. So please get onto that if at all possible. Okay, have a lovely week all. Bye.